Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be doing a German grocery haul. This is gonna be a little bit more casual because Jake's gonna kind of be in the background walking around, but I wanted to share my grocery haul, but more specifically like the prices that we paid for all of these things because I want to put up on the screen, probably like across the screen, euros to dollars to like other different types of currencies just so that you can kind of get an idea of the price differences from European Germany prices to wherever you live in the world. Before I get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. I make a lot of different videos about military life, living in Germany, living overseas, travel vlogs, weekly vlogs, what I'm doing on a daily basis type of situation, and grocery hauls and Q and A's all kinds of stuff. So don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start on this side and then move this way. Actually, I'm gonna do these first so that Jay can put them back in the fridge for me. <laughs> okay, so we have meats and cheese, but this little pack of chicken is 600 grams of chicken, just like a chicken breast. And it's gonna take me a second to look through all these, like to look through the receipts, but Let's see. This was four twenty nine. Is that right? Mm. That feels like kind of a lot. Yeah, four twenty nine. Does that? That seems kind of a lot, doesn't it? I don't know, but I like Coughlin's meat better than like the commissary or anything, or anything. So four twenty nine, four euro twenty nine for six hundred grams of chicken breast. Then we got some ground beef, which it's 300 grams. And this was 197. And it's kind of like a smaller little thing because, I don't know, it comes in like smaller packages and bigger packages, but we got the big or the smaller one, you know? Then we got some, I'm pretty sure you would call this feta, but it translates to shepherd's cheese. Like I consider this feta, but I don't know if there's a difference. But anyways, this little pack block of cheese was one euro 19 cents. So one 19, one euro 19 cents. Yeah, we got some fruit. So we got some blueberries and some raspberries. These blueberries, there's 250 grams of blueberries and it costs us Bloobs, where the heck are the bloobs? 169, which is not bad. So blueberries for 169. And then I also, which these are like, these are like kind of massive. So I'm kind of happy. We got, I got these because they're, they looked way bigger than the other ones. So yeah, those, I never really buy uh, raspberries cause they tend to be kind of expensive, but this is the same brand that we can get at the commissary, but there's 125 grams ish of raspberries and it costs like it kind of rubbed off but i think it was about either 179 or 279 i feel like it was maybe it was 179 but it was around two euro for this container which i feel like is kind of i don't know seems average to me okay now we always buy coconut milk so this is the coconut milk that i always get without sugar and I always stock up on them because we kind of go through them pretty quickly. Uh, well, do you even use coconut milk? Huh? Do you even use the coconut milk sometimes? Uh, no. You don't? No. What do you use? Just creamer? Uh, yeah. So I use this for coffee. And then if there's like any time we need milk in like a recipe or something, I'll usually use this. Oh, this is one liter. What? This is one liter? Maybe. Does that make sense? I don't know. It says one liter. So I got two one liter bottles and each bottle costs us, oh, there it is, coconut drink. So each one of these is $2.79, which is kind of expensive, but like I don't like regular milk. Regular milk is cheaper and other types of milk are cheaper, but I like coconut milk. So I always get the one coconut milk without sugar. I don't know if the price changes, if it has sugar or doesn't have sugar. I'm pretty sure it just stays the same, but yeah, it was $2.79 per one liter. These are easy because they already have the price on them. So bananas, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bananas for one, one euro and eight cents. It's like one 
1.08 euro. 1.08 euro. <laughs> so yeah, that's really cheap for these bananas, I feel like. Definitely at the commissary, they're more expensive, so... I like these. Then another thing that I always get are these chai latte mixes. So they're Kruger brand and I get the whoop, the chocolate one and then the honey one. And they cost $1.99 a piece. So four euro for like, there's 10, 20, 20 chai lattes. So I feel like that's a really good deal. If you are in Germany, I would highly recommend these. They're so good. They make such good chai lattes. They're my favorite. I always keep some in here and they also have a matcha drink type thing, but I don't know the difference in price in that, but these are super cheap for what you're getting. Then we got some ice cube trays because we don't have any and it took us a really long time to get them. I really wanted to get the flexible ones that like you can pop out really easily, but these were all they had and we wanted them with lids on them and I'm pretty sure they're the same price. They actually separate receipts by like beauty, healthcare baby, meat, other stuff, <laughs> like drinks for your house, um, cheese, eggs, I don't know what that is, and then like vegetables, fruit, stuff like that. So, and then like bread. But these were, and I'm pretty sure this one was $2.99, this one was $1.99 just by like the quality of price, but I feel like that's a pretty good deal. So, ish. I mean, I don't know, you could probably find them cheaper on Amazon, but they were there, so I got them. Speaking of kind of coffee-ish, like uh, category, kind of, chai latte, this, um, this comes in a can. Do I still have the can up there? No, I recycled it. Oh, well this comes in a can too at Aldi, and I really like it, it's so good, and it's like, you don't have to add anything to it, it's just, Basically, like the closest thing to American coffee that you would get, like a, I don't know, like Dutch Bros. Cold I, coffee. Huh? It's like something we only get like cold coffee we found so far. Yeah, so it's like pre-made, like pre-mixed, has all the milk and stuff already in it, which it's just really good. So this we usually get in a can, and it's probably around like 70 cents. And this one was 159, and it probably has like half a liter one liter how is this a liter i'm confused maybe i don't know what a liter is but um, like a liter of beer. no i know but a liter of beer seems so much bigger than this i don't know but yeah so this is a liter which will probably last me like i don't know two three four maybe servings and it's only 159 so i feel like it's a good deal to get the big container and it comes in like recyclable containers not plastic so we love that about Germany. Now, I don't normally get these, but I decided to get them just, you know, I don't know, because I saw somebody eating them and now they just look good, I don't know. So these are rice cakes without salt, and it's gonna take me a second to find these on here. I think these were 79 cents, which is, I feel like a really good deal. I feel like in the US, I mean, I'll compare the prices, like I said, to everything, but in the US, I feel like you would get this for like, two three dollars don't you think how much do you think you would pay for this in the u.s for rice cakes mm -hmm. it's like three bucks yeah i have never tried these before this is like a new german thing that i everybody eats these they're like everywhere in the stores they're peanut like crisps like peanut chips kind of and this is coughlin brand so can you see that little k up there so these were 92 cents so I feel like that's a good deal. I feel like chips this big in the US seem to be more expensive to me. I've never tried these though, so I can't tell you whether or not I recommend them, but I just picked these out because I don't know. There's like 17 different types you can get, so I just got this one. We'll see. These were expensive. So these are dried mango. I definitely think in the US you can get these cheaper maybe. I don't know, y'all let me know. Compare the prices where you live and let me know, but these were 265, which I feel like is kind of expensive considering like half the bag is air, obviously. So I don't know, it seems a little bit expensive to me. We usually get these, like get dried mango at a bulk store around here. So I think it's cheaper that way, but yeah, these, and it's a hundred grams. It's like not a lot at all, but it was like 265, almost three bucks, which is like around $3 ish in US. So, I don't know, seems a little bit expensive to me, but I really like it and I've like been craving them, so I got them anyways. All right, these bake rolls, we love these. We get these almost every time we see them in the stores at Etika, Coughlin, 
anywhere. I don't know if we've seen these at Aldi, have we? I feel like they're probably there. They're like everywhere. All the German grocery stores, I think, carry these and they're really good. So these we paid $1.29, which is about like $1.50, one, a little more than $1.50 in US dollars, I'm pretty sure, ish. Uh, so they're not that bad. It's a pretty good deal, pretty good deal. They're really good, we eat them really fast. Jake also got another one of these, the garlic. They also have English on one side and German on the other. They have garlic and they have sour cream, they have pizza, they have bacon, bacon. they have sea just salt. regular sea salt, but we like the garlic sour cream. I like the regular ones and, oh, and they have the onion, like roasted onions kind of ones. Yeah. Those are really good too. All right, we have two more food things and they're chocolate. So we get these uh, lint truffles. They're like the little, like, um, I don't know, they're like little circles. They're truffles, I don't know. But we get these and fill them up. We put them in a container and like we fill them up and then we eat one like every few days or whenever we feel like it. So um, these were $7.34, which is expensive, but we figured that there's a smaller box too that you can get, but you get more, like you get more bang for your buck if you get the bigger one and then it'll last us longer and we won't have to buy it as much. So yeah, these will last us probably what, like a month. There's 322 grams of chocolate in here and it's funny that it comes all like packaged like this like we should be giving it to someone as a gift but we don't we just eat it ourselves <laughs> and then he already uh opened these but i don't even know what these are koalas they're like a little snack treat thing um these they're 75 grams and it comes with like a little toy in this in, in it too like you'll notice that a lot of german toys and like kid snacks come with not toys a lot of German candies for kids or like snacks for kids come with little toys, which I think is cute. Um, they don't do that in the US because people, kids will choke on them, but they do here. Um, but these were, oh, we also got dark chocolate. I don't know where they went. I guess you put them away already. Dark chocolate? Yeah, can you grab me one? This little thing is 129, which I feel like is not too bad. There's that, and then we, I really love these. I have like one, I try to have like one piece of chocolate, like one little piece of dark chocolate every day. This is 100 grams of dark chocolate for 119 a piece, but you get them, I actually can get them cheaper at the commissary, so good to know, but 119, they're about like 70 cents, or like 79, 80 cents at the commissary, so I'll probably be get, getting them at the commissary from now on, but the these Ritter sport chocolates I'll put a picture in here there's like tons of different types that you can get and they're all around like one one to two euro ish um, but they're like fancy chocolates that they come in like little blocks like this so it's easy to like portion control and not eat the whole thing except I eat the whole thing whenever I want to so but yeah I always get these then he also got these kinder countries which he really loves and these are they're basically like little oatmeal type chocolates they have like chocolate with oatmeal in them this is 219 and you get nine chocolate bars in here which i feel like is a good deal so yeah these are really good if you haven't tried these already these are jake's favorite right yeah we have a couple more things i promise then butter we got some Kerrygold butter which we don't have to get this type of butter but it's like my favorite i love it so much and i just dropped it on the ground <laughs> but Kerrygold, you can get this in the u.s as well and here it costs, I just saw it, $2.49 a piece, which is actually fairly expensive. So, but it's a big, it's a big guy, you know? So you get like two, almost two blocks in one of these kind of blocks, but I always get salted and unsalted. So there's butter. Let me know how much butter costs where you live, because I'm pretty sure in the States you can get butter very, very cheap. I don't know how much carry gold costs there, but if you do, let me know, because I'm interested to know if it's cheaper there. Last things are like household type beauty items. So Jake got this super tiny bottle of Head & Shoulders. I feel like it's like very thin and small. It is, let's see how much is in it. 250 milliliters, which I feel like is kind of small. I don't know, right? What? Isn't that kind of small? Yeah. And it was 355, which is, in my opinion, that's kind of expensive. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's kind of expensive because if the ones that you can get at the commissary in the PX, I think, are like double this size and they're about five bucks. So, 
ends up being cheaper but yeah this is a little expensive and it's a little guy so yeah let me know what how much this how much your shampoo and stuff costs where you live then we got deodorant there's all kinds of different deodorants i've literally never seen this kind before like this applicator have you uh no not today's today so can i open one yeah sure so, ooh, it's like creamy looking gel, like a little rolly ball. It's interesting, but yeah, this is the Dove Men Care whatever, and it has 50 milliliters in it, and it costs 155 a piece, and you got two of them because they're kind of small, so about two bucks a piece. I don't know how much deodorant normally costs. I feel like I don't buy deodorant that much. I buy expensive deodorant with native deodorant, so... But I make it last. Make it last a long time. But he doesn't like stick deodorant. So he has to try all different kinds. And then last but not least. We have dry shampoo. And they actually have Batiste dry shampoo. At Coughland. Where we go grocery shopping. Which is kind of cool. Because I could not find it for like the longest time. They don't have any nice dry shampoos. At our commissary PX. So I'm very happy to see this. Because it's my favorite brand. And it is like just like kind of a not smaller size but it's not like the big jumbo size that you can get so it's six point or 200 milliliters 6.73 fluid ounces 120 grams that's what it says and this is much cheaper than it is in the states which is fantastic because in the states you can go to like marshall's and get this for like six bucks for this one and then you can get like a the jumbo one for like 10 bucks or nine bucks and here it costs 345 which is about close to four dollars so you get it fairly cheap here which is so exciting because i use dry shampoo like water okay one last thing i forgot to share is our coffees in a can which i don't know can you get coffees in a can in the u.s i'm sure you can i'm sure you can but i don't know if we ever did there's like the colombo colombo something brand that i've seen but in like starbucks but other than that I don't know if I know of any other coffee like in a can where it's like all mixed up and everything already. So you just like drink it from the can. Um, but this is a Mr. Brown. We got a lot of them. Like I got three of each flavor and then he got five of um, the regular flavor. So this one is the caramel and it costs us. Eh, it's not like the cheapest, but I think it's the, the other one I showed you with like this one. In a can is cheaper at Aldi, so like just keep that in mind if you're looking for a new coffee brand to try. But this is Mr. Brown's caramel flavored latte coffee drink, so it's basically like already all done for you. Um, this was one fifty nine. Yeah, they're all one fifty nine a piece. So we got caramel, we got vanilla, and. A lot of the regular coffee drinks and this one I believe is not flavored but maybe it has a little bit of sugar in it I don't see that this has sugar I feel like it probably does but anyways they're 250 milliliters a piece and we got a lot of them and they're 159 a piece so now that is everything so yeah that is everything I really hope y'all enjoyed this video I tried to kind of go into more detail with this grocery haul just so you could see the prices and what we pay here versus what other people can pay in different parts of the world. So y'all let me know if some of this stuff is expensive or cheap. Let me know. Let me know where you live and what things cost where you live. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!